Well, Pope Francis is now issuing an apology after reports surfaced that he used a vulgar term during a closed-door meeting with Italian bishops last week. Two Italian newspapers cited sources inside that meeting who say the Pope used a homophobic slur when telling the bishops not to allow gay men to train for the priesthood. International correspondent Giles Gibson joining us now from Rome with more on the Pope's apology. This is jarring news uh, on multiple fronts here. Uh, what did he say? What have we learned? And what's the reaction coming in? Well, we just had a, sp a statement from uh, Matteo Bruni, who is the Pope's official spokesperson in the Vatican, saying uh, pretty briefly that uh, the Pope is aware of these articles, of these media reports in Italian newspapers, uh, also saying uh, something that we hear from the Pope a lot uh, when he's making speeches in public, that in the church there is room for everyone. And then he gets into the apology itself. He says uh, the Pope never intended to offend or express himself in homophobic terms. He extends his apologies to those who felt offended by the use of a term reported by others. Now, reading that statement pretty carefully, what I think stands out is that, yes, while we do have this apology from the Pope via his spokesperson for anybody who might have been offended by uh, the potential use of this uh, homophobic term, the statement the Pope's spokesperson does not actually admit, does not come clear and say that the Pope actually use that offensive derogatory term that's been reported in in Italian newspapers and again but uh, yes um, thank you for clarifying that but not not denying it is almost the same practical effect as as admitting it and according to the Associated Press uh, he used a variation of a word that begins with the letter F to typically refer in a derogatory fashion to uh, to gay men which is striking just the Pope using that kind of language but too has a more inclusive reputation um, than others who've come before him in in this job Yeah, and I think it's useful to get into the context of when he actually is reported to have used this derogatory term. So according to these reports that we have in Italian newspapers, uh, the Pope used this term on the 20th of May, so very recently, when he was meeting with Italian bishops behind closed doors, and they were actually discussing, according to these reports, the Pope's continuing opposition this is a position that he's clarified in the past his opposition to openly gay men actually being allowed to serve in the priesthood now we do have a major italian newspaper the corriere della sera reporting that anonymous bishops uh, telling the newspaper that uh, because the pope's first language is not italian of course he's originally from argentina so his first language is spanish that he might not have been aware of how offensive the term is that he's reported to have used but look i think undoubtedly this is going to undermine the pope's reputation as someone who over the years has really reached out to the LGBTQ community in terms of uh, in the early days of his papacy saying it's not my place to judge gay people that was a, a remark that really went around the world uh, several years ago when he first used it as well as more recent moves such as allowing uh, priests to bless uh, same-sex couples fascinating story uh, for a lot of reasons international correspondent Giles Gibson thank you so much